According to S&P Global, more than 230 companies have filed for bankruptcy so far this year. You probably know a few of them. YouTube, YouTube, what is going on? I'm your host, Runaway Child, and I'm back at y'all with another one. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, take the opportunity right now. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, hey, throw a like on this video. A like don't cost you anything to throw on this video, so please show your boy some love. But anyhow, what I got for y'all today is, I don't know if y'all been paying attention, man, but it's been a lot of companies filing for bankruptcy here the beginning of this year and towards the end of last year. It's a lot of people in a lot of places that are going out of business. And I think that we're getting a snowball effect, us as truck drivers, are getting the snowball effect of what's actually going on. I know a lot of you guys been hitting me up, man. Don't think I forgot about y'all. A lot of you guys been hitting me up. A lot of y'all been calling me, but a lot of y'all been hitting me up and asking me, hey, Runaway, what's your idea? What's your thoughts of what's going on? And, you know, I dropped a few videos of what I thought may have been going on because, you know, this is an up and down industry. So, you know, I dropped a few videos on what I think might have been, what, what I think might was going on at that time. Well, you know, over time, I've started to look a little bit deeper into it, and I think we've uh, become victims of the snowball effect. All of these companies are uh, either filing bankrupts or either going out of business that leaves no freight for us to move. So with inflation being so high, it also drives the prices up, but it drives the cost down, which means that a sofa now might cost you $1,500, but the cost of moving it they want to pay cheaper so that they can still make you know a significant amount on the back end that's just an example but if you look at it on a larger scale that's what a lot of these companies are doing instead of making two trucks out of one load they're trying to put everything on one truck and then they don't want to pay you know anything to have it move and then on top of that you got the brokers who got their hands in it you got the dispatchers who got their hands in it and so on and so forth you got double and triple dipping into the load for the truck drivers y'all know what i'm talking about when i say double and triple dipping and um yeah man i mean let me give y'all an example of, of a few of these companies that that's filed for bankruptcy revlon you got seco you got sears you got party city here lately, you got Rite Aid. You know, Rite Aid, they got hit with a lot of lawsuits and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, for the opioid addictions and stuff. But, I mean, a lot of these companies are just filing bankruptcy, you know what I'm saying? Davis Bridal, you know. I'm going to put this list up there, man. Bed, and, bed, Bath and Beyond, you know. A lot of these companies, we used to move freight for, you know. When I say we, I mean us as truck drivers, you know. We used to move a lot of this freight and, and now a lot of it is just drying up. People aren't buying things like they used to anymore and it's driving the cost of things up. People are literally in fear of what's gonna happen next. You know, a lot of us drivers have said to hell with it, sold their trucks and got up out of this thing. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know if that's the that's the, the real reason of what's going on. I'm not sure. Hit me up in the comment section. Let us know what it is that you think. What do you think is going on? Do you think that it could just be a phase? Do you think that this is the new norm? I mean, I don't know. I think a lot of other drivers don't know either. And I'm quite sure they would love to hear your comments. So please, even if you don't like the video, you know, even if you throw a, a, a dislike on the video, hey, hit us up in the comment section. Leave a comment and say, this is what I think was going on, A, B, C, and D. But for what I'm seeing is a lot of these companies are going out of business. A lot of them are filing for bankruptcy so they can hold on to what little bit they got. A lot of bigger companies taking over the smaller companies, and a lot of people just can't hold on, even all the way down to the rappers and the TV stars, the writers, all of that stuff you're starting to see a lot of people that is just fed up with this stuff. You know what I'm saying? And we used to wonder, well, I'll take that back. I don't know if y'all remember, but 
about two years ago, there was a lot of CEOs stepping down from a lot of companies. A lot of CEOs were stepping down. I'm gonna put the list up. I'm gonna put the list up and I'm gonna show y'all. But it was a lot of CEOs that were stepping down. And everybody was wondering why. Why all these sudden why why all of a sudden these CEOs starting to step down from these companies? Like what's going on? So I think that they foresaw the future or someone gave them a heads up or something. But something wasn't right about it. And I think now we know why they were stepping down as CEOs because it just seemed like it got worse and worse and worse. And I think now we're at the at the bare minimum. A lot of these rates, I know a lot of you drivers can't run with these rates. So hit me up in the comment section. Let me know, what do you think? What do you think is going on right now? Do you think the trucking industry will survive this? Or do you think that, um? You know, this is just a down period in the trucking in the trucking industry. Is it fly by night? I don't know. Let us know. Till next time. Runaway child. And we are out. Oh!